Hi, my name is Patrick Arnson. I'm a designated pilot examiner, longtime flight instructor, and one of the owners here at Thrust Flight. And I'm Liz Brassaw, the chief flight instructor at Thrust Flight. I've worked here for about six years and been a flight instructor for much longer than that. So today we're going to talk about qualities that make a great flight instructor. What do you think is one of the top ones for you, Patrick? Um, I think probably one of the top qualities is integrity. The folks that, that really invest in their students and the ones that, um, that take the time and they admit when they don't know something. I think, I think that is probably one of the things that demonstrates integrity the most is when you admit to your student that you don't know something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that kind of sums up everything that I think we see in abuse from flight instructors, right, is a lack of integrity. So sure. integrity is one of the top qualities to make a, a good flight instructor. They are there to care about the student and that's what motivates every action they take, right, is what's going to take care of my student, what is the uh, ethical move here for that. Sure. And, and really it permeates everything that they do from, from how they treat their students to how, how well they know the material. I mean, really integrity is one of those things that permeates everything a flight instructor does. You can tell um, that they have integrity by the amount of knowledge that they have. You can tell um, um, how much integrity um, they have when they admit they don't know something. I think another really great quality for a flight instructor is promptness, right? If they're showing up on time for your lessons, if they're preparing before your lesson begins, right? Because there are some good instructors, but they can't organize themselves, right, to be prompt for your lesson or prompt in their preparation for the lesson, right? Because there's deadlines. There's hard, fast deadlines on when that stuff has to be done. I mean, I think a professional flight instructor is one that shows up on time. A professional flight instructor is somebody that, that shows up and they, you know, they're dressed for the part, you know, that they're appropriate. They don't look like me in t-shirts and blue jeans, you know? Um, <laughs> And, and maybe that is appropriate for whatever the training exercise is, but it shows the student and the customer that they want to be there, that they're, they're ready to teach them, and, and they're excited about teaching them. Um, mm -hmm. So I think, um, you know, there's so many other qualities that, that you know, make a, make a flight instructor professional, but I think that's really where it starts, first impressions. Sure, absolutely. Um, I know another quality that I always shopped for in my flight instructors was passion for aviation. I had it and I wanted somebody that was excited about it too, right? Because if I have the instructor that's just like, um, it's what my family does, right? Or, well, I read online it was a good paying job. Man, they're not matching my energy level sure. for the lesson, right? right? It's such a letdown. <laughs> yeah, it really is. You know, somebody that, that really loves aviation, you can tell, you know, because it, it you know, it, it just permeates everything that they do, you know, and, and, and I think that really is a, is a great characteristic of a, a flight instructor. Well, it allows them to keep the lessons fun, sure. right? Who wants to go on a boring lesson or a lesson that feels like work? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Well, and not every lesson is going to be exciting and not sure. every lesson is going to be e even fun, but it should be a lot more fun than it is not. Mm -hmm. fun. You know, I, I think that's, that's part of it. You know, if you're really not enjoying what you're doing, then something is probably wrong. So either your, your heart's not in it or your flight instructor's heart is not in it. What do you think about instructors who have good study skills? Does that help them be better instructors or can you teach it if, even if you don't have it? No, I mean, how could it not, right? If a flight instructor has good study skills, then they're going to be able to, to, to really help their student, you know, develop those good study skills as well or identify that they have decent study skills and, and tell them how to study and what to study and, and, and um, you know, how much they should study. All really, really important. Sure. I mean, if you don't know to look for those things because you've never cultured them in yourself, right, I think you're missing a piece on how to teach your student is how to teach them how to study. I, I think so. You know, yeah. and, and that's really above and beyond as a flight instructor. I mean, to, to be able to teach somebody to study is really a skill set um, that is, you know, it doesn't come naturally to everybody. You know, no. it's, it's one of those things that um, really separates a, what I would say a good flight instructor is from a great flight instructor. You know, the people that can, can motivate, which I think is, is, is the next thing I'd like to talk about, is those, those instructors that really get your, the students excited about what they're doing, you know, that, 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 that keeps them in a, in a good headspace to make great progress. You know, they're really in it. They are. I mean, they're invested, right? When I'm hiring CFIs, that's what I'm trying to suss out in the interview. Are you going to invest in your student? If you're really in it, right, you're going to care about that student's late night text or whatever the next step is, right? Uh, motivating them on to completing the private pilot written test or whatever hurdle they see in their way because they're invested in that student's success.
So what do you what do you look for? What are what are your some other indicators that you look when you're hiring your CFI? How you identify this is a great individual. This is somebody that I want on my team. I think the way they treated their own flight training and cared for themselves through that process tells me a lot. Did they learn their own study skills? Did they try and complete the package? Did I not just memorize the items, right, but I tried to understand them? Because then I know they're going to work with their students to try and take them that next level, right? But let's say you didn't, you did, you, you weren't privy to that, right? Sure. Let's say they didn't come up through a program that you were involved. They didn't, they didn't do all their training here at, you know, at Thrust Flight. Maybe they're you know, from ATP or, you know, American Flyers. What are you going to do to assess that person in the moment? Because you don't get all this time to see these folks. You get, you know, 45 minutes or an hour. How do you, how do you really determine this is somebody that I want on my team? Yeah. Um, so we ask scenario-based questions in our interviews and we're able to tell a lot from the applicant based off that, right? So when I'm asking a CFI candidate, right, say you're applying to work for me, hopefully I can tell some of your qualities through your answers with the application questions, right? And I think that's the same reason why the FAA pushes instructors to teach through scenario-based training, right, is I can tell my students' qualities and the actual knowledge level through the application, right? Okay. We also ask them to teach in front of us, which shows me a lot. No, it doesn't really matter which lesson I've selected, right? But it's the time they've put into the preparation, the thought they've put into building it and completing the lesson plan, right? So do we have an introduction? Did I define terms that I was going to use in the lesson, right? Did I close it off? I mean, these are a little bit more about skill rather than qualities, internal qualities. But I, it goes back to what we spoke with professionalism, right? Did they put the level of preparation into it? Or was this something they cut and pasted from another interview or another project they worked on, right? So they shouldn't show up with an M0A video and say, here's my lesson. Definitely not. And something I've actually had in an interview, oh, yep. Weird. <laughs> yep, or pulling up the Bold Method website and teaching off that as their lesson plan, right? Oh, that boy. is not the quality of a good flight instructor. <laughs> well, and really, it, it shows that you lack some integrity. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you're passing somebody else's work for your own. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, and it's it's not saying that you couldn't use somebody else's material and then you know augment or supplement or whatever you need to do, but to just say, well, here it is. Watch this video. I don't know if that really really does, the ju does it justice. No, I mean, they didn't understand the job, right? And they, I have no confidence that they're gonna understand it now when I put a student in front of them, right? So, absolutely. You know what I think a good flight instructor does is they don't smell bad. <laughs> yes, you know, personal hygiene. Personal hygiene, boy, that's huge. <laughs> yep. So, I flown with a lot of stinky old, <laughs> old men. I used to fly with a guy, a guy that smoked cigarettes while he was teaching me. So no headsets. In the either. aircraft. In the aircraft. So, yeah. <laughs> he was, we were screaming at each other because we didn't have headsets on with his cigarette and coffee breath. So yeah, that was, <laughs> was a very memorable experience for me. So, a great flight instructor, oh, huh? Flight instructor. <laughs> yeah. He was um, also a really big guy. So he owned a restaurant. Um, so he was about 350 pounds and we were in a 150. And I can pretty much guarantee you we were well over gross. And let's just say he occupied about 75% of the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Not the ideal situation. Um, one thing I think a great flight instructor knows how to do is give quality feedback mm -hmm. and critiques. I mean, when you were talking about motivation, that's one place I have a lot of power to either motivate or demotivate mm -hmm. a student, right? Really tear them down if I'm giving the feedback in a poor manner. Right. And that's not a natural thing. It takes practice or they needed experience on how to do it. Well, and you need to, you need to identify deficiencies without totally tearing down those people. I mean, you know, whatever, however you want to um, call it a compliment sandwich, you know, you got to start with something good and then pepper in a little bit of, well, you screwed this up and this is how we're going to fix it and then cap it off with, you know, something that's good. You've got to be able to relay both the good and the bad and it's got to be acceptable. You know, one of the things as, as flight instructors we talk about, you know, a good assessment is one that's acceptable. You know, if your student can't accept it, then it's not going to be a worthwhile situation. You're just going to be waste, wasting your breath at that point. Yeah, absolutely. So, or, you know, or giving feedback, period. You know, I've flown with, with people that just don't give feedback, yep. they don't give critiques, that you sh you're done with the lesson and you have absolutely no idea how, how well you did. They sign the logbook and they say, see you next time, mm -hmm. it was great flying with you today. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, giving that feedback and, that, and those critiques, it's so necessary to the process, um, both good and bad, mm -hmm. you know, um, but at the end of the day, remembering that it has to be acceptable to the student. Well, I think that's a pretty long list of qualities that make a good flight instructor. So thanks for watching everyone today. Make sure to like the video, leave us a comment, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos.
if you're beginning your flight training or if you're near the end, you're becoming a flight instructor or you're looking for a great flight instructor, check us out at thrustflight.com. We'd love to have you.